Hey there guys, it is I Vizonix Builds, and today we will not be using one motor, but two of them to control four different outputs. And I'm going to show you guys this multi-functioning gearbox, which allows me to activate four different ends. This end right here controls this one right here. And then this gear right here that engages from here controls this one. And then this one right here is engaged with this gear over here. The last gear, which is back here, controls this one. And then there's another one that's controlling. Yep, I think I showed you that one already. All right. So now we are going to look at the program. So now we're gonna go look at the program and later at some point, I will post instructions for these. I've recently gotten to stud.io and I'm doing some crazy stuff over there. So yeah, now let's get into the program. So I got this thing to work on the beta version of this um, system. So we're going to use the beta version for this test. So, and so I'm using a for loop. So I'm saying for uh, underscore in range, which means that, so what uns underscore is in a for loop is that it doesn't generate anything. It's just saying basically like for one in range, range of four. The range of four function allows me to use the for loop a total of four times because there's four different directions on my gearbox so I'm gonna run this all right now and you'll be seeing it on camera let me plug in my motors exactly how they need to be motor a is gonna be the engage and motor B is gonna be the stepper So now we're going to begin. I've hooked up my brain to the build and I'm going to show you all the different ways the gears can go. All right, so I'm going to turn it on right now. You know the process of putting it onto the computer at this point if you've seen my other tutorials. And now I'm going to hook it up with Bluetooth. Now it should, it should be able to hook up immediately since I didn't use any firmware updates. Now I'm going to play it for you guys. I'm going to put the range at 8 just so that way uh, you guys get a better understanding of how this thing works. I'm going to push play. So there's 1, now it's gone to 2. And it's gonna go three next, which is right here. And then it's gonna go to this one right here. Now I am treating the uh, power as a DC motor and that's intentional. So you guys get to see all the different ways that this thing runs. Now it's gonna go back up here. Here's a better look at the meshing mechanism right here. And yeah, that's how it works. That will be it for my little Python video. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe for more amazing content like this one. This gearbox took me quite a while to figure out how to make, and it took me a couple of hours to put together too. So it would be really, I would really appreciate it if you guys gave me a like down below. This was actually pretty hard to put together and I will be releasing instructions to this type of gearbox in the future. So yeah, that is it guys, and I will see you all in the next video.